Hey everyone, just wanted to do another follow-up video um, with some past projects and some areas that have had TF Structural installed and been down in the ground for a long period of time. We do get a lot of comments where people just can't seem to believe that there's a technology or a product out there that can last for longer than six months, but here's another video to hope, hopefully give you some evidence that this product isn't just a temporary patch, it is a permanent restoration. Uh, this job here had uh, quite a bit of spalling on the sidewalk, so we put down our TF structural. This was done over five years ago at this point, uh, and here's some footage of how it looks now. Um, this is a furniture warehouse, so there's quite a bit of mechanical <coughs> wear and tear that happens at this front entrance. You can see some of the areas that have been chipped off there with some dollies, etc. But if you look at just the overall pads, the broom finish, the picture frames, uh, the product has adhered it's not flaking off it's not chipping off it's not peeling off like everyone seems to be convinced it will and again this has been down for five years at a heavy commercial um, store where there's quite a bit of foot traffic and this installation as well was done in canada so we get extremely cold winters a ton of freeze thaw cycles uh, that's very hard on the concrete so it it definitely can hold up to that no problem and and last Here's an interesting spot. This was a severe mechanical damage and you can actually see the layer of TF structural that is still bonded to the actual concrete that broke away. So that's how strong the bond is. This is another project. This was done over six years ago. That was just a, a picture of when we were doing the install and here it is over six years later. Uh, again, the broom finish is there. No big areas or sections that are peeling or delaminating or flaking off. Um, again, this is a technology that is not Portland cement. It's not polymer modified latex where we're trying to glue uh, cement down on top of concrete. This is a chemical and mechanical bond. It's an acid base chemistry and it's designed to adhere directly to concrete um, substrates. So if you just have a, a damaged or deteriorated surface, you can easily go in replace that surface with the TF structural and get a long lasting permanent restoration. Uh, as you can see in these videos over six years later. And then this one <coughs> coming up here, we have a video with uh, crack bridging. It's just a, a long time lapsed video. Uh, and this is only a year later. It's only been down, but I did want to show it because everyone um, that that wasn't convinced in the comment section seemed to think you couldn't put that kind of restoration on that type of pad, but here it is after a pretty severe winter, uh, still intact. Room lines are still there. All the big, thick, deep fills that we did are still there. You will see right here, there's a small hairline crack starting to reemerge. And it's important to note, you can never guarantee that you're going to fix a crack by putting a, a mesh and a, a very rigid overlay on top of it. Um, but there definitely are methods you can use, as seen in our videos, that can help to mitigate that crack returning. Or if it does return, you can keep it as a hairline crack versus a big, wide open, deteriorating crack. So yeah, it's important to know that. We can, you can never guarantee on a rigid concrete structure outside um, that you're going to fix, permanently fix any kind of cracking. But definitely there's methods you can try and use uh, that can help to ensure they won't come back. But yeah, I hope this video helps to give some more confidence uh, for people that this product is meant to last. Thanks.